Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to install Redream, which is the Dreamcast game emulator on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm recording this on the MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M1 Pro chip. This is the base model of that computer. And we're going to be downloading Redream. So we need to go to the redream.io website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Once we get to this page, we're going to go and click the download button here. Then what we're going to do is we can ignore this premium setting and also the stable releases. What we really want is the latest releases here. So we're going to go to the latest development releases and these are going to be the most recent ones which are most compatible. So we're going to click this Mac icon here. So I'm going to click on here now and we're going to click allow to allow this download. Once this download has completed, we're going to double click on Redream. And now we have the Redream application here. I'm going to drag it over to the applications folder so we can fully install it. So it's going to let go here. And now we're going to double click on this Redream icon. So to set this up correctly, we're going to need some ISOs. So Redream uses Dreamcast ISO files. You can easily acquire them by searching for the name of the game and then Dreamcast ISO. And you'll find plenty of websites to download these ISO files from. So please be careful when you're downloading things from the internet. Not every file is going to be completely safe to use. So all of my files are in my emulation folder up here. I'm just going to double click on my user. And I'm going to go to Desktop, Emulation, Dreamcast. Then we're going to add one of the file directories. So let's add Crazy Taxi. And then we'll click this top bar to add that folder. So here we've got the Crazy Taxi game. All we need to do is to click on this to load up the game. So to make sure that we've got the input settings correctly, we can press the escape key on our keyboard. And then we're going to go to input here. And we're going to make sure that our Xbox controller is connected up. We can use any other Bluetooth controller that's compatible with Mac OS Monterey. So if you don't have a controller paired already, you can just go ahead and pair one using the pair button on your controller. And then we can go ahead and select our controller and then make sure it's compatible. And all the keys are bound correctly to the Wii Dream. We can also go into the video settings here and do some tweaks. We can change the game aspect ratio. We can change the window size. I'm going to change this to something on widescreen. We're going to make sure our frame rate counter is on. We're going to turn VSync off. I'm going to go back to Redream. And here we're going to press A and go into the game. So I've got the music turned off, but basically this game is running pretty well at 60 frames per second. So I can go into the video settings and then turn this into a borderless full screen window. And basically I'm going to go back to resume this game. So we can see here that this emulator is an Intel emulator. So it means that it's running through Rosetta 2, but it's still quite impressive that we're able to get a decent frame rate on this. So anyway, this is how you load up the game and set it up so that you can play on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to this video.